Hi and welcome to TLB Talks. I'm your host Rashmi and today I'll be sharing with you 11 proven ways to transform negative emotions. Intent of today's video is to inculcate a habit to keep emotions in check and maintain a sound mental health and effectively use the coping strategies to combat stress. Before we begin, I would like to do a quick two minute neuroscience tour that you should know to understand what happens inside our bodies when we get stressed. Let us first understand a little about autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is a subdivision of peripheral nervous system that controls and regulates body processes that are automatic like involuntary body functions such as heartbeat, blood flow, breathing and digestion. It has two main functions, the sympathetic nervous system which is responsible for fight and flight response and the parasympathetic nervous system that is responsible for rest and recovery. At any point of time, both these systems, sympathetic and parasympathetic, are operational and in balance. One of them is more active though. This is what keeps the body in homeostasis or balance. So whenever you experience a negative emotion or stress situation, the amygdala in the brain sends a distress signal out. The hypothalamus activates the sympathetic nervous system by sending signals through the autonomic nerves to the adrenal glands. Now these glands respond by pumping the hormone adrenaline and cortisol into the bloodstream. Then you experience increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, faster breathing, pupil dilation, tightness of the muscles, dry mouth and sweating. If repeated stress conditions prevail, the body is in stress mode all the time and you record high blood pressure, a compromised immune system, poor digestion, cognitive decline, increased blood glucose levels, poor sleep, chronic pain issues and depression. On the other hand, when we experience emotions of appreciation, love, compassion, care and gratitude, we shift into parasympathetic nervous system. It lowers heart rate, lowers blood pressure, stimulates digestion, pupil constriction, bronchial constriction, stimulates saliva, relaxes the entire body. The body experiences a calmer mind, decrease in stress and anxiety, cardiovascular benefits, relaxed body, higher energy levels, higher immunity and a better sleep quality. This prompts the body to rest, rejuvenate, regenerate efficiently, allowing the system to detoxify and return to homeostasis. The only reason I wanted you to be aware of all this is because we should be more emotionally responsible. We cannot let ourselves drown in heavy emotion causing damage not only to ourselves but our loved ones. I urge you all to be more mindful how to navigate through negative emotions. These 11 proven ways to transform negative emotions shifts the body into parasympathetic nervous system. Coming to the first one, heart coherence. Did you know that heart is the most powerful source of electromagnetic energy in the human body? Scientists at HeartMath Institute have researched that the heart sends 60 times more signals to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. The magnetic field produced by the heart is more than 5000 times greater in strength than the field generated by the brain. The Heart Math Institute has done research to show that when we create rejuvenating emotions such as appreciation, care, love, gratitude and compassion, the signal from the heart to the brain becomes more harmonized. Brain switches from sympathetic to the parasympathetic nervous system. The stress hormones decrease allowing the heart and brain to shift creating a greater heart-brain coherence. How cool is that? By a mere thought of gratitude or love and appreciation from the heart, you can shift from a stressful situation to a stress-free situation and also recreate the physiological benefits that comes along with it. This is not an unknown fact. Many ancient traditional spiritual systems across the world already knew that heart is the seat of the soul, heart is the seat of our consciousness. All our wisdom and guidance comes from the heart. 
many yogic, Tibetan, Sufi, Christian, Egyptian, and many other traditions practice meditation on the heart to bring peace and clarity in the mind. Coming on to the next one, meditation. Studies have proven that individuals who practice meditation daily have better stress response and coping with illness and overall health and well-being. It brings better peace of mind and helps restore balance in the autonomic nervous system. As a trainer with heartfulness, which is also a heart-based meditation, I can vouch for this system. Whenever I feel overwhelmed or I'm going through a stressful situation, I take a session with transmission and immediately I experience a shift uh, to a calmer state of mind. I'm able ability to think clearly and have more emotional resilience to overcome the situation. The next one is deep breathing. Deep breathing techniques like pranayama resets the autonomic nervous system and activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which sends a signal to the brain to signal the amygdala that you are safe and you don't have to use a fight and flight response. Pranayama can help improve the circulation and promote oxygenation of the blood, lowers heart rate and blood pressure and calms the mind. The next one is yoga or any kind of exercise. Yoga exercises have proven to be effective in alleviating stress, anxiety or any kind of negative emotion. Increase in oxygen in the blood, improves circulation, tones muscles and aids in digestion and improves sleep quality. The next one is relaxation, visualization or guided imagery technique. Studies have shown that relaxation with visualization or guided imagery can be utilized to overcome anxiety and encourage desired emotional and physical effects. Such proven techniques are implemented mostly on high performing athletes to overcome performance anxiety. The next one we have connect with nature. Whenever you have a negative experience, go take a walk outside a park or garden you will return back fresh and happier. Mother Nature heals and grounds you back with positivity. Every fresh breath you take heals you, releases the stress hormones and speeds up your recovery. Release and let go. It is very important to release and let go instead of just avoiding it. You will feel much relieved after you vent your emotions. You can journal it down or speak to your trusted friend but don't ignore this step. Healthy diet. It is important that you eat healthy, nutritious food that can help in alleviating stress. If you're not eating well, it can add to mental fatigue and stress. You need to ensure you're properly hydrated, eating all nutrient rich food to cope with stress. Art therapy. Research has proven that art therapy can significantly aid in reducing stress. When you are unable to express yourself and you desire emotional release, making art may help you do it. On the same lines, research has also shown that listening to music may reduce anxiety, blood pressure and stress hormones. The next one is massage therapy. Regular massage also restores the balance between the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Massage promotes relaxation and improves circulation, activating the PSNS mode, stimulates the lymphatic system and reduces stress hormones and aids in recovery process. Connect back with your family and friends. Once you feel comfortable, connect back with your support group, your family and friends. Staying alone and dwelling in the past will only make things go worse. You feel stronger and positive when you interact with your loved ones. You will bounce back to recovery sooner. Now that we know all the coping strategies, let us see how to apply it. How to train the brain to transform the negative emotion. First, set an intention to pause when you experience negative emotion. Two, when you have a negative experience, pause and observe your body sensations and observe your breath. 3. Practice slow, deep breathing until you gain composure and bring your attention to the present moment. 4. Respond to the situation mindfully. 
5. Try out relaxation techniques that were discussed, whatever works for you. 6. Seek inner guidance to resolve the situation and let go. 7. Repeat until you master this technique. By applying the strategy to pause and mindfully navigate through your emotion, you will reinforce a new behavior pattern successfully. Slowly but surely, you will improve your emotional resilience. Dissolve anger with compassion. Replace worry with peace. Melt hatred with love. Replace sadness with happiness. Turn failures into opportunities. Overcome fears with courage. Good luck and thank you for watching TLV Talks. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends and family. See you next time. Bye-bye.